Is it time to buy or sell QQQ ETF? In this video, we're diving deep into QQQ. Our initial report was published on our website on Friday, 24th May, 2024. And now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and get a free price predictions and deep analysis for anyone among 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since May 3, 2024, our system has ranked QQQ as a buy candidate, giving it a score of 4.88. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. The stock has seen a gain of 5.16%. This translates to an average return of 0.32% per day since it was listed as a buy candidate. The current three-month trend suggests a potential 0.8%. 9-4% change over the next three months, with a possible return between negative 8.23% and 0.94%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a 27.65% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between 12.33% and 32.16%. This translates to a price range of $514 and 43 cents to $605 and 23 cents after a year. Our latest daily update for QQQ includes the headline, QQQ ETF upgraded from hold accumulate to buy candidate after Friday trading session. The QQQ ETF price gained 0.95% on the last trading day through 24th May, 2024, rising from $453.66 to $457.95. During the last trading day, the ETF fluctuated 1.25% from a day low at $453.57 to a day high of $459.23. The price has risen in six of the last 10 days and is up by 3.59% over the past two weeks. Volume fell on the last day by negative 11 million shares, and in total, 29 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $13 and $51 billion. You should take into consideration that falling volume on higher prices causes divergence and may be an early warning about possible changes over the next couple of days. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of ETF was $460.58 and the lowest price was $340.67. Currently, the price is 0.57% or $2.63 below the 52-week high of $460.58, which is also the all-time high for ETF. The following signals have been identified for QQQ, mostly positive signals in the chart today. The QQQ ETF holds buy signals from both short and long-term moving averages, giving a positive forecast for the stock. Also, there is a general buy signal from the relation between the two signals, where the short-term average is above the long-term average. On corrections down, there will be some support from the lines at $454.54 and $437.87. And a breakdown below any of these levels will issue sell signals. A buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point on Friday, April 19, 2024, and so far it has risen 10.44%. Further rise is indicated until a new top pivot has been found. Furthermore, there is a buy signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. Volume fell during the last trading day despite gaining prices. This causes a divergence between volume and price, and it may be an early warning. The ETF should be watched closely. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, buy signal pivots, buy signal 26 days ago, Bollinger, buy signal eight days ago, 
short-term moving average, sell signal three days ago, long-term moving average, buy signal 17 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages, buy signal 12 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart, we see short moving average, buy signal 17 days ago, the long-term moving average, buy signal 18 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages, buy signal 128 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk and Stop Loss for QQQ QQQ finds support from accumulated volume at $439.02, and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. This ETF is usually traded at a good volume, and with minor daily changes, the risk is considered to be low. During the last day, the ETF moved $5.66, 1.25%, between high and low. For the last week, the ETF has had daily average volatility of 1.11%. Before we dive into the possible good trading levels for QQQ, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, the price to earnings ratio, or PE ratio. This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its per share earnings. A relatively low PE ratio could signal a low expectation for the future of the company or that the stock is undervalued, indicating a potential buying opportunity. Now, let's discuss some potential day trading levels for QQQ. There is no significant resistance from accumulated volume above, which means the stock could move upward swiftly under the right conditions. In this case, you might want to enter a position and use volume to determine when to exit. On the downside, QQQ encounters its first support level at $439.02. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point, anticipating a rebound. Our recommended stop loss is set at $445.22, a decrease of 2.78%. This ETF has low daily movements, resulting in low risk. The relative strength index 14 is 86, significantly increasing the risk. A buy signal is indicated by a pivot bottom identified 44 days ago. Is QQQ ETF a good buy? Several short-term signals are positive and we conclude that the current level may hold a buying opportunity as there is a fair chance for QQQ ETF to perform well in the short-term period. We have upgraded our analysis conclusion for this ETF since the last evaluation from a hold accumulate to a buy candidate. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is overvalued. For trading on Tuesday, May 28th, we expect QQQ to open down negative $1.03 and start trading at $456.92. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the exchange traded fund? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.